So, let me give you a quick tour. Oh, damn it! I'm not gonna swear. So we're back on the transit again, um, getting it ready obviously to go away, because obviously that's now done. And I had to put in my fridge in here and a temporary setup for the electrics, which I've kind of almost done. So let me give you a quick tour. Oh, damn it. I'm not going to swear. Oh, right. I never catch those things on camera, but damn, I caught that one, didn't I? Never mind. Right, okay. Back on the transit again. And we've done quite a lot, actually. If we look up here, so we put a switch up there to give us some lights. All the electrics are working, all wired in, batteries are wired in, put the seat back in, as with every van life build that goes on, there's a necessity. Good old Chinese diesel heater. But I haven't seen one like this in a while, you've still got the old rotary knob right so the battery is the other side of the shower there and the heater's here so it's a long way distance for the power to go so hence you'll see the multimeter and this controller so as with a lot of diesel heater installs it didn't go as easy, easy as I expected should have been but it was my own lack and laziness and i thought you know that it will do attitude um completely messed me up this time so the wire that i used to run the power and the earth is this flex here now just to give you an idea it is two core flat flex but it's only 0.75 millimeter squared so it's very thin and the problem I found, as soon as I switched it on, it fired up, started to heat up, and then it died. So I put the other digital controller on it to find out what the issue was to get an error code. Although the rotary one does it, it does it by flashing lights, but I wanted to check the display. And it came up E01, which is voltage drop. So I fired the engine up to make sure the battery was all charged. That It was fine anyway, it was, wasn't that, it was the cable. So we've gone to using proper size cable and the cable we're using now is black and red and it's 17 and a half mil it, sorry 17 and a half amps two millimeters red so it's so one half times the size of what I was originally using but yeah the voltage drop on that smaller cable was significant enough to stop the heater from working so I ended up rerunning another cable for anyway. It's not a problem, not too much of aggro, but you know, it's just a bit of a ball ache because I even thought to myself, it should be fine, but it wasn't fine. So yeah, we've done that. Also, what else have we done? As you're aware, we've put one fan there and a skylight there. And today, we've also put the rest of the roof rack up. And if you can see the edge of it, We've also put a solar panel up there. So this van is nearly ready for me to use. Selling Covey on the hop like that really threw me. Um, and the other thing we've been doing is this food trailer. When it came in, I'm gonna make you laugh here. Right, so these are built out of box section steel. In each corner, you've got 25 by 25 mil uprights in four corners. 
and then also you've got a 25 by 25 mil box section either side of the door right so they're held together onto the chassis by six points we picked the trailer up it's fine we thought it was fine got it back here on close inspection it was held on by two points the back end here but the problem with that was so you had the two front end box section and the two door pieces were rotten away so it's only being held on by two but it was being held on to the main back bar of the chassis down there which was also rusty so our plan was to give it a bit of a tar up use it then have a full refit for next season um me and my ultimate wisdom i just wasn't happy with that and that's when we discovered how bad this was so we stripped the floor out stripped everything out inside stripped the floor out and we put uh welded in some new chassis bits some new hangers it's all sorts there's one two three four small bits of uh, welding done but one major bit at the back here also the leg there was all mashed up that's why it's got a new leg um the actual clamp was knackered that was no good so we've actually put it and completely refitted it the only original bits left in this trailer is the microwave over there the griddle which oh my god we had to completely refurbish that and the bain marie just there so three things in this trailer is the only thing left even right down to the gas at the end there going out that was all renewed we've got a potato oven in here um all new electrics we put we've got the ceiling fan there which was replaced there wasn't one that in but we put it anyway because it's above the cooking area to take out any um um steam smoke whatever from the griddle and from the fryer so if you're at van life chill which will probably be gone by the time this video goes out might not be or if you're going to the ics international caravan show and van life festival um um van life eats the big picnic we are catering for that as well um we got some delicious food coming on and believe me we've been trying it we've actually been cooking in here and trying some of the food so yeah it's gonna be fun and instead of cooking in the van i'll be able have somebody cooking for me so and i may even jump in there myself to do a bit of cooking so but yeah we've right down to the lights up there being changed um, we changed some new reflectors it's just the whole thing was falling apart it's got a new frontage on it um this oh my god so the bracket that holds this on no bolts on it it was just held onto there and this was flopping about all over the place it was a state um anybody else buying it would have called it a lemon Luckily, we can do the work, so it wasn't too much of a problem for us. But more to the point, going back to the transit. So this is, yeah, nearly ready for me to use. Um, I've actually got a list going, actually. Let's show you the list. Ooh. Right. Let's put the list on here. So, change front vent, done. Change and cut rear vent, mount roof rack, mount solar panel solar panel we ticked off i've got to mount the awning and go and get the spare tire changed i fitted a diesel here electrical board the easy solar i change for a smart um smart solar charge controller the battery that was in ronnie's in here i've got to fit a usb charger I've got a wire in the vent fans pack camping stove um oh yeah so the caravan i've got to replace a plate i'm working on the caravan outside the caravan that i've done the boiler on so we've installed a new boiler because them chinese ones are pants um we proved that it's failed so we replaced it with a sealed room boiler made by cointra i've got to install a diesel heater at tank and turret and uninstall the old heater so today is tuesday i have it's my birthday tomorrow so I've got to do all that between now and Sunday. So I'm going to call that a day here. 
I'm trying to keep you up to date more at the moment with everything that's going on because builds have come to a bit of a halt. Um, as you know, Kong's ECU messed up again and is gone. Um, if you don't know already, that's what's happened. The ECU got repaired, fitted, worked, started it the other day, it stopped. I've said, said take it out and send it back. So at the moment, I'm waiting to get that done because that was supposed to be ready for the International Caravan Show and it's highly unlikely looking like it's going to be done, which I'm quite upset about, but hey-ho, it'll be ready either for Van Life Festival or um, the second International Caravan Show. That's the problem when real life takes over and real life comes in to kick. Um, <clears throat> some things uh, had take priority. Anyway, that's it for now on this one. So I hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying well. Most of all, staying really happy. Bye for now.